As far as Transformer designs go, one of the coolest, objectively, is Bludgeon. So let's talk about his 2020 Cyberverse toy. Now, this guy's a one-step changer, which means he flips between modes instantly. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I never thought I'd ever even be buying a one-step changer, let alone liking it enough to review it. Yet, here we are. One impulse purchase later. Cyberverse Bludgeon comes packaged in the tank mode, so let's start there. It's obviously a bit compromised to accommodate the gimmick, what with the gaps and the arms and whatnot, but come on. This is for children. They're not going to care. Believe me, I, I was one once. This is the kind of thing you have to appreciate for what it is, and what it is is mean. The colors and detail are pretty nice too, to my eye. And there's some extremely inelegant weapon storage, which I adore. Now, to get this guy into his robot skeleton samurai warrior mode, you're going to want to squeeze on these gray bits. Like so. And there we go. Now he's a robot. Did I mention how much I love his design? It's just so unique and threatening. Even the simplified version looks like he's going to cut you in half. Speaking of cutting, Bludgeon's instrument of choice is this actually pretty nice looking sword. Pop it in one of his hands to complete the look. If one step changing wasn't enough gimmicks for you, he's also got another one, an action attack, I believe is what the box called it. Yeah, you just pull on his left hand a bit and then his, his wrist breaks. Am I, am I missing something? Is, is there supposed to be a spring in there? Or is this the gimmick? Whee! Okie dokie then. Uh, at least you can use it as a wrist swivel. Not that you'd be buying this guy for articulation anyway. Other than this, all he has are elbows, which you can also break. Don't worry, he deserves it for slipstream. To change him back, straighten his arms, pull his legs apart like so, and flip up the feet. So maybe not as one step on the way back, but it's still simple enough to kind of absentmindedly flip him back and forth while doing something else, which you may find therapeutic. I don't know. Does that count as a girl walk? Now here's something I was quite impressed with, and, and that's the paint. Looking at it, you may be thinking, well, that's nothing special. It's, it's sparse even. And you're right, but it's complete. It doesn't feel like it's missing anything vital, as opposed to something like this. By most accounts, this is a decent little Optimus figure. I mean, I would have cherished it as a kid, but it's missing some paint apps, most crucially the grill, uh, but also some stuff on the top and sides that were shown as painted on the box art. So no excuse? That's the thing though. Bludgeon isn't dealing with any of that nonsense. He's complete, he's cool looking, and he's fun. So that's been Cyberverse Bludgeon. I've been Captain Kraken. And you've been a wonderful audience. I'll see you next time. What? What was I doing? Oh, oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs>